Hi everybody, it's MJ from My Paper Journey. I am back with the uh, hashtag 50 stack challenge that Amy from Crafty Cat is hosting here on YouTube. And I'm here with guest check number 15 and the prompt for, oh, number 16. I'm sorry, 15 is the one that I just did. Number of the prompt for 16 is squares now i not too fond of like right angles and sharp things so i went into my software and i created these frames they are square frames in the center but on the outside they do have um, a design so I went ahead and I cut some out already just for the sake of time and I don't know which ones I'll be using but I went ahead and cut three because the guest check is not very big so I'll probably only be able to use two of them and then I went ahead and I printed some little cuties here <clears throat> this is from my software the print master that I use and then these are just ones that I went ahead and cut in you know squares so I don't know which one I'll be using and yeah and then I do have the word vintage that I already cut out and I've already distressed just for the sake of time and I pull out this lace here I don't know how much room I'm gonna have for lace I also have um, some scraps here that I bought from uh, an Etsy store. They're doilies. This is mini grab bags. And well, uh, let's get started. I hope you're all doing well and um, having to do some crafting. And this one is just going to be really simple. And I'm going this time. The previous one was pretty bright. A lot of green. Oh, I just want to show you. Um, here's the tag. Number guest check 15. I went ahead and I added some lace. It was all white. And I just went ahead and I used my archival uh, ink. Which is violet. And I just ink each of the little rosettes there. Just to give it some more color because I thought it was just like a lot of green and um, just wanted to have a, a little balance. Oh, and I added the word um, uh, pray in the center because um, I've been praying for all the people in the state of Florida. You know, a lot of them lost their homes and lost everything and many didn't have any flood insurances and a lot of them lost their lives. So I think the count it's up to a hundred now so yeah and so that's the reason I put the word pray there so that's for the guest check so on with uh, the 16 guest check number 16 and I just saw Amy's um, video for Monday um, one of them is using <clears throat> napkins <laughs> and I just used a napkin on my previous video not too long ago it seems like whenever she pulls something out it's like I've already just used it so but that's okay I'll figure something out and I thought I used this on the back as a background maybe I'll use because these have some kind of a, if I have my scissors, mm. oh, here we go, maybe I can use,
just to have some something 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 different I'll use my scallop scissors that I bought not too long ago at the thrift store see if I can keep a straight line I'm not doing tearing today Want to see the 16 up there? <laughs> and I want to see the words guest check. So, okay. I use I use the regular photocopy paper. And I'll distress these. So have you guys been watching everybody else's that are participating? On the uh, challenge that Amy is hosting for the 50 uh, stack the guest checks it's interesting to see everybody's um, creations you know it's the same uh, prompts for everybody and it's, it's interesting to see everybody's take on it which is great I just find it fascinating. I think I'll use this one. I'm not sure. I guess it doesn't matter. So this time I'm going more of a neutral color. Where the previous one, it was pretty bright purple and green and just want to see the scallops a little bit more highlighted so I'm adding more of the distress. Here's my glue stick.
then I thought I'd use some lace. Because you know me, gotta use my lace. So I thought I'd put some lace down below. I think I'll just do a little distressing so they're not so white since I'm working with neutral. I'll do some in the back. I'm going to have to cut that one down. Uh, use that one and this one. I think I'm going to go with more of a picture because she's kind of looking they're, they're looking at different direction but I think this one looks better on that color and then this one well I what I can do is distress it just a little bit add more To match the uh, the frame better like that and I hope I'm recording and not just talking to myself and I'm going to have to trim this down a lot I am not going to have them like removable. It's just going to be um, an embellished tag with um, with square picture frames.
so pretty. Put that one there. And that one like that. And you know, I thought I had some little charms. Oh, here we go. These little metal charms. They're flat backs. Well, not exactly flat back. And maybe put one there. Well, let me glue these on. And then put the word vintage like right there. Put it on her. I don't know. Oh, what if I use what about if I do some of these here that BB gave me? Put some because I think these don't really lay flat and they're Wizards. Oops. If I put some there, or maybe I'd use the bigger ones. Do it in threes, and then maybe this one, I'll add the word vintage, or should I put the word down here? I don't know. Put the word there, vintage, think, and then positive. And Let me do these three here. I'm not putting my head in the video. Okay. 
and maybe oh this one I know I can there's some smaller ones I can use smaller ones I wonder how it would look if I put one in each cor four corners, the pink one. Oh yeah. Mm. Maybe put vintage up here like that. It's just gonna be a very simple tag. Guess check. <laughs> yep. So thank you, Bianca, Bibi for these little flat bags I do have some but you know I put things away but I don't have that size and I don't have some of these other faceted ones that she gave me I still feel like it's a little too simple, but if something comes up that I decide to do it, uh, add anything else to it, I'll share it with you. So this is my uh, guest check 16 using squares. So I'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care. Bye.